Good morning, Rowan class. How are you all today? That's lovely to hear. Today, we're going to say hello to everybody. How are you? And I'm going to share a story with you. This story is my second daughter's favourite story. Her name is Liberty. And she asked that I'd share it with you today. So let's start with saying hello, everybody. So, hello, everybody. How are you? Hello everybody, how are you? Hello everybody, how are you? How are you today? Right, can you tell me how you're feeling today? I'm going to give you a quick reminder. We've got our zones. We could be angry in the red zone. We could be a bit silly in the yellow zone. We could be really happy and ready for learning in the green zone. We could be a bit tired or feeling a little bit sad in the blue zone. How are you feeling today? That's lovely to hear. Thank you for sharing it with me. Today, as I said, we're going to do a story. Let's have a look what story it is. The story is called Zog. It's by Julia Donaldson and it's illustrated by Axel Jeffra. Julia Donaldson is the author that means she wrote the book. And Axel Zephyr is very talented because he made all the illustrations, which are also like the pictures in the book. So let's open the page, see what's inside. First page, ooh, got a little snail, a caterpillar, and a picture. It looks like Zog and his. Which one do you think this could be, Zog and his? Hmm. What do you think? Right, Sog and his family. I hope you're all with your families and keeping safe. Let's have a look at the story. Madam Dragon ran a school many moons ago. She taught all young dragons all the things that dragons needed to know. Zog was the biggest dragon. Oh, which dragon is the biggest? Can you see? Have a look at my picture. Can you see the biggest one? All right, this one, Zog. He was the biggest dragon. He was the keenest one by far. He tried his hardest every day to win a golden star. We have stars in our class as well, don't we? Turn the page, Melissa. All the dragons in year one were learning how to fly. Hi, said Madam Dragon, way up high in the sky. Now that you will be shown, you can practice on your own. And you will all be expert flyers by the time you're fully grown. They're all flying, oh, looks like he's having a bit of a tumble. Zog went off to practice flying fast and free. He soared and whooped and looped and loop. And then he crashed into a tree. Oh dear, he crashed into a tree. He might be in the blue zone. He might be feeling a bit poorly because he thumped his head. Let's turn the page and see. Just then, a little girl came by. Oh please, don't cry, she said. Perhaps you'd like a nice sticky plaster on for your head. Look, she's been very caring. It's very kind, isn't it? What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, his plaster gleaming pinkly as he zigzagged through the blue. So he's all fixed and he's all happy again, back in the green zone and flying off in the sky. A year went by and in a year, two of the dragons learned to roar. More, said Madam Dragon, louder, I implore. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own and you'll all be champion roarers by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He roared with fearsome force. He kept it up for hours. He ended up quite hoarse. Hoarse means when you kind of really lose your voice. So his throat was feeling a little bit sore. Just then a girl came by again. She said, what 
rotten luck. Perhaps you'd like a nice soothing peppermint to suck. Oh, she's sharing. What a good idea, said Zog, and then up and off he flew and breathed flumes of peppermint. He zigzagged through the blue. He's flying back off to the castle. Let's turn the page and see what happens next. A year went by, and in year three, the dragons learned to blow. No, said Madam Dragon, breathe that fire, not snow. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own, and you'll all be breathing bonfires by the time you're fully grown. Wow, doesn't that look scary? Big fire coming through his mouth. Zack Zog went off to practice. He blew with all his might. He twirled around in triumph and his wing tip caught light. <gasps> oh no, poor Zog. Let's see what happened next. Just then a girl came by again. She said, you poorly old thing, perhaps you'd like a nice stretchy bandage for your wing. Look, she's very good. I wonder if she's a nurse or something. She's very good at looking after Zog, isn't she? What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, his bandage flapping wildly as he zigzagged through the blue. Let's have a look. Let's turn the page. All the year four dragons were learning. Can you guess? Yes, Madam Dragon. How to capture a princess. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. You'll need to capture hundreds by the time you're fully grown. Oh my goodness, that sounds a big job. Hundreds, that's an awful lot. Zog went off to practice. He tried and tried and tried, but simply couldn't manage. I'm no good at this, he cried. Dear, he's feeling a bit sad. He's making that blue tone again. I'll never win a golden star. And then just then he saw the girl. Perhaps, she said, you'd like to capture me. I'm Princess Pearl. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off they flew. The princess gripped him tightly. They zigzagged through the blue. It's like they're off on an adventure together, look. Here they go, flying into the sky. Let's turn the page, Let's see what happens next. Ah, said Madam Dragon, our first princess so far. Congratulations, Zogs, my dear. You've won the Golden Star. Oh, he must be so pleased. That's what he wanted in the first place, isn't it? Zog was proud and happy, and Pearl felt good as well. She took the dragon's temperature and nursed them when they fell. So she was doing a good job. She was helping them, looking after all the dragons. Look, you can see her bag. It's like a medical bag, isn't it? With all the things that the dragons might need. A year went by, and in year five, the dragons learned to fight. Right, said Madam Dragon. Here comes a real live knight. Up spoke the knight. My name is said is Gadabout the Great. I've come to rescue Princess Pearl. I hope I'm not too late. Let's have a look what's going to happen next. Zog breathed fire and beat his wings. You can't, she's mine, he roared. Oh no, she's not, yelled Gadabout and waved his trusty sword. The other dragons crowded round and watched them all agog. Who was going to win the fight? Sir Gadabout or Zog? Ooh, I hope they don't fight. Let's have a look what happens. Oh, look. Then Princess Pearl stepped forward, crying, Stop, you silly chumps. The world's already far too full of cuts and burns and bumps. Don't rescue me. I won't go back to being a princess and prancing round a palace in a frilly dress. I want to be a doctor and travel here and there, listening to people's chests and giving them my care. Me too, thanked the knight, and took his helmet off his head. I'd rather wear a nice twisty stethoscope, he said, 
this is a stethoscope where they listen to your heart. Perhaps, princess, you'll train, you'll train me up. And Pearl replied, of course. But I don't see how the two of us could fit upon your horse. Oh dear, how are they going to get back? They can't put two people, he's only ready for one, isn't he? The horse has got one saddle. Let's turn the page. Then Zog said, fine doctors, I'd love to join the crew. If you'll let me be your ambulance, then I will carry you. Bravo, said Madam Dragon, an excellent career. And all the year five dragons gave a loud sounding cheer. Hooray! Then Madam Dragon told the horse, I really hope you'll stay. I'll let you be my pupil's pet and they'll feed you lots of hay. Ooh, what do you think? Do you think you'll stay? Let's have a look. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off they flew. The flying doctors waved as they zigzagged through the blue. Decided to be a flying doctor. What a good career. And that is the end of our story. What a lovely story of people helping each other. And looking at different feelings as well. But in the end, everybody was happy and they flew off to be doctors to take care of other people. What a lovely book. So now... We've said our hello everybody, that has finished. We've had our how are you, that has finished. We've read our story, which today was called Sog. It was by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Zephyr. Do you remember what somebody who writes books called? They have a special name, they're called a... Uh, remember at all? Um, oh, I did forget what it is at all. Author, well done, brilliant. And then at least the last thing for us to do today, which is to say goodbye. So goodbye, everybody, and I'll speak to you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.